Hello friends, welcome to Shikshati. In this video, we will be discussing mixtures with the help of fractions. So let's start. So you would see that uh, we have already had two videos on mixtures and in those videos we had talked about removal and addition in mixtures with the help of ratio and proportion. The same thing now we are going to do with the help of same examples, almost the same examples and we will be using the concept of fractions. So once you would have seen all the three videos, you will come to know that this video is taking your learning to the next level. Now when I say next level, naturally we are going to discuss those concepts which will be time saving concepts. Okay, so by now we know that removal from mixtures does not change the concentration of the liquids originally present, but the addition in mixtures changes the concentration of the liquids or ingredients originally present in the mixture. So I have denoted this cross means what? Cross means that it does not change the concentration of the liquids originally present and tick means that it changes the concentration of the liquids or ingredients originally present. We are interested in knowing about the concentration. Volume becomes slightly insignificant. Maybe we can talk about volume as well, but we are basically interested in knowing how does the concentration of uh, the ingredients or liquids or gases or solids originally present changes. Okay, now when I say changes, the concentration may remain the same, which is zero, a change may be a zero, change may be lesser, a change may be greater. So we are combining it with the concept of percentages. And why are we doing so? Because percentages, mixtures, averages, allegations, time distance speed, time and work, all of these they go hand in hand and naturally calculations which is at the zenith okay so in the first case now i hope you know the example that was taken but in any case a 100 liters solution of milk and water is being taken in the ratio 3 is to 2 now this is the original volume so i have taken v as the original volume and here i am taking v1 is the first operation so we are removing 20 liters of the mixture 20 liters of the mixture is being removed it will not change the concentration of the liquid this signifies no it does not change the concentration so naturally the ratio remains as it is though we know that the volume changes and the volume reduces here because we are removing in the second case we are talking about addition only so if 20 liters of milk and water either of milk or water is added in that case what is go going to happen so I am taking this as the first case and I'm taking this as a second case and we are talking about addition only now what is the original concentration of milk in the mixture original concentration of milk is nothing but volume by parts of milk divided by the total volume by parts of the mixture which is 3 divided by 3 plus 2 which is nothing but 3 fifth or we can call 3 fifth as 60 percent similarly when this is 3 fifth what is the concentration of water so if the concentration of milk is 3 fifth, the concentration of water becomes how much? 1 minus 3 fifth. This could have also been understood as, this is one way. This could have also been understood as, I could have calculated the concentration of water as 2 fifth. In that case, the concentration of milk would have been 1 minus 2 fifth. Nothing special here. I am just trying to make you relate with proper fractions, ideal fractions. And here we are not going to talk about improper fractions. Now why are we not talking about improper fractions here is because the concentration of any liquid originally present in the mixture can never be equal to 100%. Why? It's quite obvious because when I say the concentration is A is to B and I'm interested in knowing the concentration of A. So naturally it will be A divided by A plus B which will always be a proper fraction only. It can never be an improper fraction. Okay, so coming back now. Now in this case, when I am adding milk only to the existing solution, naturally the concentration of milk would increase. So in the first case, the concentration of milk increases, which is why I will be able to say that the concentration of water would finally decrease because of the increase in the concentration of milk. 
so we will start off with the concentration of water and why are we starting with the concentration of water because the concentration of water is going to be decreased and why are we talking about decrease only because few minutes back I talked about in a mixture we will always talk about proper fractions only okay so now the concentration of water originally present originally present was how much two fifth and this will decrease now this will decrease because of which kind of a fraction so uh, if you have not seen my videos on fractions please refer to my videos on fractions and percentages so that you come to know that the moment I talk about a proper fraction proper fraction means decrease or discount or loss so when I am decreasing the concentration of water by in increasing the volume of milk so how do I start? I start off with volume was originally 100 liters. Now I am adding 20 liters of milk to it. Now when 20 liters of milk has been added here, naturally the concentration of milk is going to go up. When the concentration of milk is going to go up, naturally the concentration of water would decrease and it would decrease by which fraction? This volume decreases. So how will it decrease? So what is the change in volume? So how will I form a proper fraction with the elbow of these two volumes? 100 liters and 120 liters a proper fraction would be 100 divided by 120. Okay, then you do this. This becomes your diluting fraction. Diluting fraction. Why diluting fraction? Because it is diluting the concentration of water originally present by the addition of milk in it. Once you have done this, ultimately this fraction comes out to be 1 by 3. Now when I say after the first operation the concentration of water is 1 by 3 naturally this can be understood as 1 divided by 1 plus 2 in which the volume of water is 1 and the volume of milk is 2 please relate and check your answer with the with the first two videos in which we had done the same questions with the help of ratios it will give you a very healthy feeling that you get the same answer. In the second case, we'll do the same. So in the second case, what are we doing? We are adding water to it. So when we are adding water, when we are adding water, the diluting. So in that case, we will be diluting the concentration of milk. So now the concentration of milk is how much? Three fifth of the diluting fraction remains the same as five sixth. So this comes out to be one by two. So this can be understood as one divided by one plus one. So now in which the, con the volume of milk is one part, and the volume of water becomes how much? One part. So you get the answer as 1 is to 1. Now, since we have discussed the basics, now we will focus more on accuracy and speed. We have already focused on accuracy. Now we will be focusing on accuracy and speed both. Remember accuracy is a prerequisite for solving any question correctly. And speed helps you to gain confidence. Okay. So now what we are saying in the first case so we are we are saying if 20 liters of the solution is removed and then 20 liters of either milk or water is added so we start off with 100 liters let's say okay then 20 liters is removed 20 liters of the mixture is removed 20 liters of the mixture so we have how much 80 liters now we do we now removal we know does not change so we'll just put a cross mark here so if the ratio here was 3 is to 2 of milk is to water, here also it will remain 3 is to 2. Followed by, now we are adding, let's say 20 liters of milk to it. So this becomes how much? 100 liters. So now when you are adding milk to it, the concentration of water gets if affected as we did here. So what was the concentration of water originally? 2 fifth, right? And the disturbing fraction becomes how much? 80 by 100. So this is just like saying 2 fifth of 4 fifth, which is how much? 8 by 25. Now this 8 by 25 is the concentration of water, which can be understood as 8 divided by 8 plus 17, which is just like saying after the first operation, if water is 8 parts, milk would be how much? 17 parts. You get the answer in seconds. In the second case, you would do the same. So I'm not drawing the diagram again. I'm just using whatever I would have written here. Instead of water now, I'm sorry, instead of milk now, I'll be adding water in the second part. Now when I'm adding water, naturally the concentration of water increases because I'm adding some volume of water. 
Now because of this, the concentration of milk decreases, decreases to a what? So the concentration of milk originally, so we can just put it in, in parenthesis so that we understand it better. This is the original concentration of milk. This is the final concentration and the disturbing fraction here will be 80 by 100 which is 4 fifth. Which is just like saying 12 upon 25 which also has to be understood as 12 divided by 12 plus 13. So now in this case, after the first operation, milk is to water. Milk is 12 parts and water becomes how much? 13 parts. Okay, I would appreciate if you can do this question on your own. But before doing the last case, the answer of which is already known to you because we have already discussed these in my first two videos on mixtures wherein we talked about uh, solving questions on mixtures, removal and addition in mixtures with the help of ratio and proportion. So you already know the answer. If you don't, you can watch the video. So now you have the answer with you. You know how to go ahead. If you still do not know how to solve, please go through the steps once again. And please do not forget to put a cross and a tick. Now cross symbolizes what? The ratio remains the same. And tick symbolizes what? The ratio should change to whatever it is. If you think that this video really helps you to save time, please do share this video with others and do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. If you have already done so, please click on the bell icon and select all so that you start receiving updates from us. If you want us to do some specific videos on specific topics, please put it in the comment section so that we can do it for you. Thank you so much. Until next time we meet. Goodbye.